When it comes to truly unique individuals in the entire history of music, nobody even comes close to the legend and lore behind the great Gigi Allen. Whether it's due to his shocking, bizarre performances or the content of his actual songs, he is well deserving of the title, the most spectacular degenerate in the history of rock and roll. Born Jesus Christ Allen in 1956, the nickname of Gigi came from the fact that his older brother had difficulty pronouncing his real name in his early years. Gigi was a rather poor student, being held back on at least one occasion, as well as almost constantly being bullied. And in the early 1970s, he began cross-dressing when he went to school, taking inspiration from the New York Dolls. After graduation, he formed the band Mel Practice, where he was the drummer. And after playing with a number of other groups, he released his formal solo debut in 1980. The music there was very in-your-face, yet strangely catchy. And as the decades progressed, his lyrics, as well as his stage presence, became more and more intense. Strangely enough, Gigi Allen was a massive fan of many country legends, most notably Hank Williams, and he actually released a few country-twinged albums that bear very little resemblance to the music he's best known for. Admittedly addicted to alcohol, heroin, and pretty much any drugs he could find. It was in the late 1980s when Gigi really began to test his audience's tolerance when he would take laxatives before he went on stage, purposely defecating during his performance. Taking the idea that rock and roll at its purest form was about being rebellious and going against any norms, Gigi truly saw himself as the last rock and roller on the planet. He furthered his wild reputation by befriending and visiting serial killer John Wayne Gacy, and the cover of the soundtrack to his documentary Hated was actually done by Gacy. The final years of the 1980s was when Allen cemented his legacy as the sheer chaos of every one of his live shows became legendary. Whether he was destroying venues, cutting himself open, getting in fights with audience members, or a wide range of other events, a majority of his shows were shut down by either police or venue owners before his set was over. In 1989, Allen was actually convicted of assault, and in the court records, it was revealed that during the incident in question, Allen burned and cut his female partner, as well as drinking her blood. Allen served the better part of two years in prison over the incident. 1991 saw the filming of his now infamous show at Space at Chase in New York City's East Village. This was the show captured for the hated documentary, and it truly shows Gigi for all the rock madman that he was. Breaking the nose of at least one audience member, stripping naked, as well as a wide range of other bits of true musical chaos. On June 27th, 1993, the power went out at a Manhattan club called The Gas Station during Gigi's second song. He proceeded to destroy the venue and then go out into the street completely naked, covered in blood and feces from his show, though he was soon handed a pair of shorts to avoid being arrested. In this rather odd state, he walked the streets for some time, being followed by a group of fans from the show. Later that evening, he went to a friend's apartment where he shot up what would be a lethal dose of heroin, and he died after being found by bandmates early the next morning. As per his request, Gigi Allen was buried wearing a black leather jacket, his trademark jock strap, and a bottle of Jim Beam at his side, with the funeral eventually turning into an odd party before he was finally buried wearing headphones with a Walkman playing. In the two decades since his passing, the legend of Gigi Allen has grown, with countless news stories surfacing, almost every one of them being up for debate. But the reality remains that all throughout music history, nobody has attacked the world of music quite like Gigi Allen. Oh!